Today I'm going to show you how to make a little sprig of blackberries. I've got some pale green paste here um, which uh, I'm going to use for the purpose of the demo but you could use uh, a sort of pale pink or going for a very dark um, paste if you want to go for a, a darkened blackberry. Um, I'm going to show them in different stages of ripening so I've started off with this pale green here. So I have a 22 gauge wire and it's a fairly short length and I'm just going to start off by bending a hook into the end, like so. And then you want to take a sort of large pea-sized amount of your paste. This can really vary on the size of blackberry that you want to achieve, but I'm going to go for a fairly small one. And I'm just going to roll that into a ball. And then I'm going to dip the hooked end of my wire into a tiny bit of water you don't really want too much moisture here because you don't want the paste to become sticky but just a little bit of water will help it to adhere to the paste so I've inserted the hooked end into the ball and I'm just going to shape that if you find it sticky at all then just use a little bit of corn flour and blackberries really vary in shape so I'm going for a sort of slightly oval shape and it's slightly flatter so it's uh, not completely round all the way around just gone for a little bit flatter but again blue, uh, blackberries come in all, all different shapes and sizes so you can vary this so once you've done that and it's all nice and secure you're just going to leave it to dry until it sets firm and I have one that's already dried here So you're now going to start by rolling lots of little balls um, and again you can vary the size on these but I like to go fairly small so they're probably about two millimeters in diameter. So my paste is fairly dry here but if you find it's a bit too sticky then just put a bit of corn flour on your fingers. But I'm going to carry on pinching little amounts and just rolling them and you want enough to cover the whole berry. So I think that's probably going to be enough now. So I'm going to add a little bit of edible glue onto uh, the sort of bud that I've created here. And my edible glue is just a quarter teaspoon of CMC mixed with two tablespoons of warm water. And then it's just been mixed until all of the lumps have disappeared. And you don't want to get put too much on here, you just want enough of a coating to make sure it goes nice and tacky. Make sure that you've got all surfaces covered. Okay, I'm now going to sort of roll this in the balls to try and get them to start to stick to them. You do have to be a little bit patient at this stage and try and get as many as you can on and then once you have a good amount on there you can start using your fingers to just start to work them into position. It can be a little bit fiddly but it will start to come together if you just bear with it. And I'm really lightly pressing because you'll find with blackberries that the sort of little balls tend to be a little bit squashed into position. So you can kind of shape them as you go along and you can slide them round. So I've now got half that's covered and half that isn't. So if I slide these round, 
I can then start working on the other side. And you will find that they'll sort of fall off as you go along, but you just keep on adding and put, moving them into position. Once you've only got a few gaps left, you can just add them in one by one by hand. And if at any point you find that it's just too sticky, just put a bit of cornstarch on your fingers. And that should help. So I think I've got enough on there now. I'm just really giving it a good squeeze now. So I can fit one more in there. You just want to make sure there aren't any gaps. And just lightly pressing it like this will sort of move them to connect up with each other. So that's all covered now. So I'm now going to leave that to dry for say half an hour and then we're just going to add a little sort of calyx to it. So to make the calyx I'm just going to use this small star cutter and I have a small amount of green paste here which I'm just going to roll out and you're going to go fairly thin. And then I'm just going to cut out a star shape. Put that on my pad. And using my Dresden tool, I'm just going to tease out the points of the star. So you're thinning and lengthening them. Now I'll take my berry, which has had a chance to firm up a bit, so I'm not in any danger of losing any of the balls. And I'm going to take a little tiny bit of the edible glue, just apply that to the base of the berry. And then thread the calyx down. thread that down and I'm just giving it a light press to sort of stick the base of it onto the berry and I now want to just pinch the points of the star to thin them so give them an initial pinch And now I'm just going to take my small scissors and cut a tiny bit in between each of the star points just to lengthen these a bit. So I'm just doing really tiny snips. And then you go around and pinch again.
and then you can choose how you want them to bend so you can have them sort of bending away from the berry if you want or you can have them curving the other way if you look at some pictures of blackberries and see they, they all seem to be pointing in different directions so I'm just going to curl mine away like that and then we'll leave that to dry before wiring it together with some leaves So I'm now going to make a few leaves to go with my blackberry sprig um, and you can get botanically correct leaves and veiners for blackberries but I find that you get quite a realistic effect with just a rose leaf cutter and veiner. Um, by all means invest in the, in the real ones if you want to but I think you know rather than having every cutter and veiner under the sun it's quite nice to just use ones that you have. So this is what I'm going to be working with and I've got some green paste here which I've just been kneading and I'm just going to put a little bit of white veg fat onto my veining board put my paste on I'm just going to roll this out Oops. So I'm going to cut one in the large leaf size and then I'm going to do two of the smaller leaves. So I'm just going to dip the end of a 26 gauge wire into a little bit of water and insert that into the vein. Do the same with the other leaves. Just give the end a bit of a pinch to secure it as well. Tool. I'm just going to thin the leaves a bit. making sure the edges are nice and thin okay once you're happy with them I'm just going to pop them in my veiner Now I'm just going to pop these in a foam pad to dry and then we'll be back for dusting. 
So my berry and leaves are now dried and are ready for dusting. And so I'm going to start off by doing the berry and take a little bit of green. And this is quite a medium dusky green. And I'm going to take a little bit of this cream to mix with it. So just mix those together a bit. And I'm going for quite a pale green berry here as it hasn't ripened yet. So I'm going to dust this colour all over. And of course you can vary your colours on this depending on what stage of ripeness they are. And if you want to add some touches to make some greener bits here and there you can. And then I want to show that this one is just starting to ripen. So I've got a strawberry pink here, sort of ready pink. And I'm going to mix that with a little bit of this green, just to dull it slightly. And then just add some touches here and there as if the berry's just starting to blush. So just like that. And now I'm going to move on to dusting the calyx. So for the calyx I'm going to go for this kind of beigey green again and dust a layer of that over. But incorporating a bit more green than I did on the berry itself. And then I just want to add a tiny bit of brown in there as well. So I've just got a sort of lightish brown here. And I'm just going to catch a few of the edges with a little bit of this brown as well. And that's my berry done. So have a play around with different colours for your berries as well. Moving on to my leaves. So for the leaves they're quite a vibrant green normally. So I'm going to take a bit of this dark green and then I'm going to introduce some yellow to it to brighten it up. So I'm going to brush this colour all over and then I'll go in and just slightly darken patches of it. So I'll take a bit of the green on its own and just touch up a few bits just to give a little bit of variation with the colour. Then I'll do the same with the other two leaves. So I've just lightly sprayed my berries with a little bit of confectioner's glaze and I pre-taped the stems of the berries in the largest leaf with a bit of white floral tape. And now I'm ready to assemble them. I'm going to take one of the berries and attach it to a 22 gauge wire. And then I'm just going to begin adding berries as if they're coming off this main stem. 
You can have a little play around with different combinations here. So I've got some ones that I've done in different stages of blushing and then the fully ripened blackberries. And they do seem to branch off in different combinations, so you can have a play around with how you want to arrange them. So I'll just leave that like that for the minute. And I'm gonna tape my leaves together. So, depending on where the leaves sit on the blackberry branch, they do tend to vary in combination. For this one, I'm going to tuck these smaller leaves right in next to the larger one. So, about there. And then I'm just going to have this sprouting off the main stem. trim the end off here. Now I'm just going to finish by dusting the stem and this is a sort of they're usually a pale green colour and the reason I do this last rather than using the tape is quite often tape can be not quite the colour you want it to be so if it's not the colour I want it then I'll use a white tape and I'll just go in with some dust to get it the desired colour. So I'm just going to use a bit of my light green from earlier and dust that all over the stem. Could incorporate a bit of brown in there as well. And then the final thing I'm going to do is just to spray the whole thing again with confectioner's glaze to get a really nice glossy finish on the berries and give the leaves a bit of a shine. And then that's complete.